Green flag set to fly, and the Stoops pursuit's underway. And again, five lap segments, and we got action right off the bat. We do wow. indeed. Three wide back in the field. Gavin Miller shuffled back into second on the field. That's not good for him. Meanwhile, the 81 of Brian Weedham slinks to the outside. Down low, Kevin Thomas Jr., the number one car. We have a hard time, Ethan Mitchell. Got her singing to Mary two down in turn number one and two. Here comes a run out on the bottom side for Cameron Key. He able to slip Whoa. on through. Meanwhile, Jay Davidisian on the move and on the hustle. The number 71 car looks to the outside. Wiedemann stepped out from underneath. I mean, one, two, three, four. Wow, it's a Danny Sullivan. Seven P car able to get moving again for Zach Dom did not stop as he is still under his own power. So we're back to green quickly on this one, Pat. Three we laps are. scored down. Back behind Jay Davidis, he goes to the cushion. She looks around the outside out of turn number two and down the back straight away. The mobile one seventy one car on the hunt and on the prowl. Aggression, no problem for Jay. Moving her way out through. The more she passes, the more go by the wayside. We'll bring him out of the corner and down the back straightaway. Zach Dobb trying to fight his way around. Flying Rod Tibbs. Jade working towards that number three spot in the 97 car. Got Dobb picked off. Down they go. Kasha comes out as we got the 67 stopped on the racetrack. And that's also the end of our five lap segment. Takes her up on the high side. Drops the nose and hammers the throttle. Yeah, everybody gets interesting, yep. Snaps her up onto the top shelf, looks around the outside, trying to get a run down the back straightaway. Bam. A little bit. Oh, that Closser gave up two spots for the number 71 car. Down the inside, the 7 and the 7P of Kyle Jones and Zach Dom, respectively. Pick off Jade Avedisian. They'll go side by side. A little bit of a rolling roadblock out ahead. Meanwhile, here comes Cameron Key after your race lead as well. Double sliders down into the corner. Oh, my. Cameron Key, Zach Dom racing well. Jade still working on the outside battle up front. Tanner Thorson's now run down the 71 car. He'll look down to the inside. He'll try to pick off a spot or two. They race out of the corner. Unfortunately, gave one back, but a big leap down into the corner and onto the front chute. Ethan Mitchell's got her up on the top shelf. Never keep working the bottom. That's a good race up front. Never keep keeping pace down on the inside for the number 21 car. Good rotation onto the back chute. That lane still around the outside for the 19 car. 7P is that dog working P3 back behind the 86 of Kenna Mack. Tosh. We got the side-by-side -side battles happening back in the field. Another five laps go into the books. There's your caution flag. Well, Jade's night comes to an end. He thought about it. Oh, yes. <laughs> Back underway, Cameron Key down on the inside, trying to get around Ethan Mitchell, get him out of the way. Watching the 57 of Logan Seavey going top shelf as well. So he'll rip his way into turn number three and four. Two cars oh. tangled up. Cameron Key can't hit a Macintosh. Oh, goodness gracious. It'd be very big for Ethan Mitchell. Down in the corner he goes. Boy, he is pumping the wheel in a 19M car. Rockets his way out. Turn number two down the back straight away. Here comes the 86 car to the outside. Cannon McIntosh trying to make something happen. And Zach Dobb doing what he does. Trying to saw away at the bottom. That's a shorter way around if he can make it work. And so far it looks pretty good for the 7P car down the inside. Mitchell not quick enough to get there at top. Dom in that number one spot. Three laps to go. Yeah, we've got a high confrontation of boy I love these and Zach Tom down on the inside tucked into the tires rock and rolls his way onto the front shoot takes it across for lap number next he's got some distance on the 19 F car two to go that time by and Dom starting to run away from Mitchell Mitchell might have to Ross Chastain in here if he's going to get this done but there's Dom out front I'm pretty sure that's what he's been doing the whole time and it's about take her down into turn number two the white flag was already out and Zach Dom Looking to pick up the win. The 7P car started 10th. He'll finish first in the Stoops pursuit. How about that? Boy, it's been a great year for Zach Dom. He's up and out of the car. He comes. It's the Dominator, Zach Dom. So we'll send it down with Christy.
Well, I'm working a little bit right now to get Zach Dom's $2,400 written on the check because before the Stoops Pursuit starts, you don't really know what you're going to get. So here I am gifting Zach Dom his money, and I'm trying to that should get, be my, on film. get my penmanship on point yeah. for you. That's all right. Make it happen. We'll all watch right. Zach get decked out in all his gear out here in Victory Lane. After picking up a big win again, started 10th on the field, able to race his way up there, hung out in the number two spot for quite some time, Christy, and there you are. There I am. Zach Dom wins $2,400 as he picks up the Stoops Pursuit victory here for the Driven to Save Lives BC39. And Zach, you might have had the easier job there, chasing down Ethan Mitchell for all those laps and seeing the mistakes that he was making. Do you feel like you were watching that really closely to see that you could stick to the bottom and make it work? Yeah, yeah, just... Uh we kind of been struggling with brake issues. I just kept having to tell myself to sh slow my entry down so much. And um, there, I didn't really feel any pressure in the middle part of the race when I was just kind of sizing up Ethan there. And then the last five laps, I just decided, all right, just don't screw up, hit the bottom, slow your entry down, and you can gas on exit. And we were able to do that. And that was, uh, I followed him around last year, and I think he, well, we were teammates last year. So I, uh, I didn't want to kick him out of the race, but I was better than him. And then, uh, then I didn't get a chance to go after the win uh, last year, so it uh, a little bit of redemption for me last year, and kind of sucks for him, but uh, that's part of it. All those segments where you kind of followed him around and saw saw what was happening on the top side of the racetrack and letting it evolve, were you really kind of saving what you had for those final those final five laps? Yeah, I kind of I was I knew we were five segments or whatever, so the the last five I kind of went probably too far on the shocks a little bit just to try to make it to where I could just stick the bottom and I could squirt on exit. You know, it wasn't that wasn't a 25 lap. Uh, set up there, but it was a good five lap run before they could get momentum. So, um, kind of figured that that's how it was going to play out. So, I, uh, I went for it, and uh, luckily we, it worked out. Across the board for you, a really solid night. What do you think um, going into tomorrow, knowing that you have a really solid a solid car? Yeah, yeah, we got a good we got a good race car. It, uh, we we got to fine tune a little bit. We weren't the best in the in that earlier feature. Uh, got to be able to run the top a little bit better, but uh, we'll work on it and see if we can't uh, do a little better tomorrow. A really great night for Zach Dom as he picks up the Stoops Pursuit race here for $2,400 at the Driven to Save Lives BC 39. Talking to Ethan about the balance.